Hello everybody, it's Demon here. Thank you so much for tuning into the Demon Cast. You're listening to Class of Dragons, episode 4A. No, this is fun time in Dwarven Hills. <laughs> Someone get him a beer. Hey, Jimmy. You yeah. get the sense that there's a lot of uh, action coming out from outside the uh, outside the inn. Like, this was heard, and there's more people coming. All right, I'm going to look out the window, then. Yep, there's uh, several more. Armed just cultist like people coming over to you. Not only uh, is there that, there's um, some people hanging from the gallows at the moment. All right, I'm gonna turn around, say, "All right, boys, change the plan. Execute the prisoners and let's get the hell out of here. They're coming after us." Oh, uh, I, the, the, I, I cut his ties, kick him in the face, and, and tell him to get lost. Okay, he shuffles back, hitting the hitting the wall and keeping his arms up. You it's better run fast. Valus, we run. Valus has great wings. Making him break for it. We run. Running. Run. Let's do a skills challenge. Oh, dang it. I only have two skills. <laughs> I have plenty of skills. I have all of the talking skills and two of the performing skills. Oh, no, I have three skills. I'm good. How do you only have three skills? I'm not a very smart fighter. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready for this skills challenge. Give me a minute. Oh, I have the best skill, actually. Okay, so which one of you doesn't know what a skills challenge is? I assume Shelly has not been introduced to it. But I don't believe she has. That's okay. No, um, she hasn't. We'll explain yeah. this as we go here. So, um, how many people do we have? We got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just do it this way. So, um, skills challenges works. Basically, um, you're going to roll initiative against each other. Just to see who goes first. Um, uh, you get to basically tell a little bit of the story, choose a skill, see how that helps you out, and um, we'll go from there. Shelly hey, went to get a snack, by the way. That's not a problem. Um, Is she still here? Drew, uh, what's your initiative? Okay. 14. Shelly, I need initiative. Sieg. Fourteen. All right. Um, Kisuku, you guys are all in an inn. You guys need to make your escape because there's a bunch of armed guards coming at you. Are there any open windows in like, the opposite direction of where they're coming from? Absolutely. Cool. She's going to try and uh, run and climb out of a window. What skill is yeah. this? Fine. <laughs> okay, you could roll it. Please. 19. That is a success. You successfully climb out of a window. She's the back of packs. I would have rather use that. <laughs> Audrey, um, how this works is we have a scenario. Um, basically, you are in an inn. You need to hijack it. Uh, Kisuku just climbed up the wall and jumped out of a window. Um, I'm going to do that too. You have a bunch of uh, skills that you can use. Basically, tell me what skill you're using to do what, and uh, give me a roll. I'm following Cat Girl. What skill? Oh, sorry, Fox Girl. Fuck, did I fall? <laughs> did I just got stuck? <laughs> um, that is a failure. So. Yeah, you managed to uh, get up the uh, the wall here, get halfway out of the uh, window, 
And uh, you're caught on something. You're not entirely sure what because you're kind of hanging upside down outside the uh, building. <laughs> well, he's cute. It's the Mediterranean. Sieg. I'm going to try to escape um, using... What can I do with um, acrobatics? Uh, you can do acrobatic things. I'm sorry. I mean, give you give me some things I can do. I, well, you, I try to get out can, the window. You can jump out of the window. You can wave through people. You can don't step on me. I you jump can out. pull her out <laughs> with you. Out the window. Try and help I her. Jump out the, I, I jump out the window and attempt to pull her out with me. Okay, roll it. Okay. Can I can I say I'm holding on to my clothes for dear life? Like the clothes are not coming off. The clothes is not coming off. Okay. Are they? <laughs> now that you brought it up, I think he just face plants. <laughs> you epically face plant into the ground and fail to uh, shake Audrey loose. <laughs> hey, Druven. Oh my God. Hold on. Yes. What's up? Oh, it is your turn. Have you an action to uh, escape the people coming? Only thing I can really do is probably intimidate them. So I go through <laughs> to the front door and uh, roll intimidate <laughs> as a true door for okay, back. okay. You can give yourself a great big battle roar. Or at least you would have given yourself a great big battle roar. But uh, it comes out more as a cough. Or a kid. We are literally oh, yeah. going to die here. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Any way you I'm can gonna... salvage this? I mean, we failed at this point, haven't we? I didn't give enough um, tokens for failure and whatnot, so uh, I'm going to let you do this. And we'll write it on one more failure loses. Oh, man. Oh, God. All of my scales are talking. Because you need a turn. Well, you can inspire your comrades. You can order them around. You can baffle the oncoming troops with bullshit. It was a toss. All right. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to... Wait, no, that's disguise. So, not disguise. I'm going to cast Sky Self and turn myself into the bartender. The bartender. Or the keeper of the inn, but the public face of the establishment. Okay. I'm going to go out the door. And I'm going to use Bluff and tell them, they went all that away! Roll it. 18 is a success. So we're rolling until the next failure. One more failure and you guys lose. Hey, Kisuku. She could just run. That'd be the easiest way. But she's going to try and turn around and... Uh... Ah. Hmm. I want to say... Grab some bushes and try to, like, hide Audrey. <laughs> Using stealth. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Great. That's good. So, <laughs> here's what happens. You get the sense that there's a bunch of people coming, um, and you, you need to hightail it out of here. A lot of you try to get through the window. Um, this is ending up like a slapstick kind of comedy here as uh, the only thing that seems to make any sense is Jimmy's uh, disguising himself as the local innkeeper and <laughs> screwing with the uh, oncoming guards, which does give you enough time to uh, get out. Um, oh, good for you, Jimmy. Yeah. 
you probably should have brought your gear with you, and I'm going to say you have no rations for the next four days. Oh. It's a good thing she had a very, very large meal last night. Yes. She so, was prepared. Who wants to go ahead and roll me survival checks? Oh, boy. Can I, can I skills. Can I roll an intimidate to intervene animals into winning a swagger? No. God oh, damn it. I can roll a survival check. 13, that's a pen. 17? Yeah! Okay, get along on one. Okay, who got lower than a 10? Uh, oh. Not me. Wait, you have a macro for a skill you have negative 2 at? Yeah, it's in the uh, character page. Alright, you use the character sheet here. So, who got lower than negative 10? Or, I'm sorry, who got lower than 10? No one. Okay, amazingly, you all managed to feed yourselves on the very long hike to Barking Hempstead. I need to go get my donkey. Wait a minute. Azula Wait, didn't roll. Azula is an NPC. She gives you bonuses to uh, any magic-based skills you wanted to use. I what? forgot no, to I mention that. For survival. Oh. Yeah, she made it. So, who survives? All of you survive. All of you who've got a 10 or above get to eat. All of you who got a 15 or above get to eat well. Huzzah! Yes. Eating like kings and queens. I can't believe we survived that. Literally, if if Vatrix hadn't done what he did, we would have been fucked. Vatrix, I am honestly thanking you right now. You right. guys have been fucked. Each this is the singular purpose of this character. I am seriously confused. What the hell is going on in this country? To be honest, Azula, I think you need to get out of here. Oh, I am going to go talk to uh, my uh, my nephew, um, Simon Verkloff. All right. I've been holding this up for a while because I have a feeling that it makes me look like an idiot. <laughs> but what is an Akaresh? And why are people be praising it? Oh, dear God. <laughs> Azula will just um, stare at you bewildered for a moment. Do you not live here? I mean, not in this exact spot. Uh, like, I grew up in the near... Not quite slums, but not particularly nice. And even I know who Akaresh is. I don't. I don't think it's you would know what Akaresh is either. Probably not, unless you want to roll via knowledge local. <laughs> Let's try this. Sixteen. Um. Yeah, Akaresh is the Red Emperor. That's all you know. She will say exactly that. Isn't knowledge a uh, train skill? All right, I can't even roll that. That's an intelligence check. Oh, okay. And uh, that's why I told you it was the Red Emperor, and that's all you know, because I knew you didn't well, have local. Probably good then. So I can use the exact same one. Um, Akuresh is the. Emperor of um, the Empire of Flame, which controls this country. And, um, you know, seat of power in Fire Isles. I am first generation child of Akaresh. It's also my father. Oh! So, yeah. You are the daughter of Akaresh? A lot of us are daughters and children of Akaresh. That's right. 
<laughs> guy gets around. So yeah, I'm essentially, so I'm what did you say? That was my forgetful trait again, because I am literally half. You know, I, I'm a, I'm a fucking half dragon. So what you're saying is, dragon orgies. That's a thing now. <laughs> Yeah. I think you're ordered for this orgy, yes, very much. <laughs> I'm finding these things to be rather strange outside of Fire Isles. Awkward silence. <laughs> Anybody God. have anything else to say on your several day journey whilst you uh, try to survive in the wilderness with no rations? Um, I'm Audrey about her God. I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you about your God. But yeah, I mean, my God, she apparently just left and took all the other clerics with her. I chose to stay. Because I don't think that's right. I don't know. I have a spell that makes us dream that. It called, it's called Dream Feast. And it makes us dream that we were eating a lot. So, and it counts, apparently. Wow. Yeah. That um, is really useful. As what? Eating? Yeah. Hey, Kisuku. Yeah. You dream of mountains of food. Oh, she's going to go hang out. <laughs> Ham? Going ham means go crazy, Patrix. Youngins. Sorry. What? So, any <laughs> other interesting discussion before you get to booking, Hunstead? Let me think. Um, well, I question why the narrator sounds Russian now. <laughs> because the narrator is also the NPC who is a uh, fake Russian accent. So you a dwarf, then? <laughs> Tell me, you women, beards? And perhaps more importantly, are they good beards? All beards are good beards. <laughs> Even the women. Well, of course, the woman. Fascinating. Except, except there was, uh, there, there was, uh, Libby, the, the lost, he had the worst beard. What kind of beard did he have? It was the worst. Literally had worst in it. I tell you, I once knew a man in my street. He had some sort of reverse mohawk for a beard. What? What? That sounds amazing. It was until things started living in it. Why wouldn't that be amazing? Unless, of course, it is little bitty insects. They were worms. There are worms in his beard. Time passes. Yes. <laughs> and so, we so, so what you're saying is we have filled awkward silences with awkward conversations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And behold, um, you cross the hill as the sun is starting to set and see the great city of Birkinghamstead. Um, the uh, river, well, Birkinghamstead is built on the river, so the keep is a walled-off area, and uh, it's by the river. Just south of the keep is a great market. Um, there's residential areas, markets, um, tanning districts, and whatnot. This is all walled in. The city has thus far expanded out past that, so there is a great expanse of city that is not walled as of yet, as well as fields that seem to stretch out everywhere. Um, you are entering, entering the city from the west, and you can uh, you can get yourself some lodging as the sun sets, and you are. Just uh, a good hour's walk from the city proper. Probably best to be due in the morning. That's All a right. very nice uh, wall. 
It's not quite up to dwarven quality. For humans. <laughs> humans. So, in stays. Um, this would charge you a whole one gold for a basic room. Two gold for a really nice room. Um, Azula doesn't have money. He's going to quietly ask if she wanted to spend the night in her room. I would appreciate it. I will get to speak to Simon tomorrow, so that will be nice. And then uh, I could repay you back. It is fine. She goes down to the counter and asks for three goals with the food again. Okay. Um, you get a bunch of food. Yeah. Anybody doing anything interesting? Um, well, I make sure to get dinner. Um, I then get a basic room for one gold. How much was it, was the dinner? Uh, two, three silver. Silver. Okay. How many silver equal one gold? A uh, ten. Ten. Okay. Yes. Uh, Kisuku eats a lot. Far more than I imagined. Holy crap. Ooh, she was... Yeah, okay. Drew is going to go around and see if anyone needs help with anything. Generally, something that uh, a strong man, strong man, or dwarf, strong dwarf. Sure. You get... Uh... You quickly get a job moving some huge ass crates that uh, were supposed to be held off till tomorrow, and they didn't really want to pay the guys to do it anyway. All right. How are they going to pay me? They'll give you a free night since they're booked. Are they're they got empty rooms anyway? Oh, that, that sounds like a good deal. No can hair I off go, their back. Can I go around and see if anyone needs stuff to mend? Sure. <laughs> um, do you do have... I have to roll for it? Um, do you have an Arcana check? Arcana? Yeah. Yeah, roll that. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, you can make enough money to pay for your meals. Oh, how much is that? I'd rather just take the money. Oh, well, it's three silver. It's not a lot, but you don't have a lot of time. I mean, it's already dark, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, right, I'm going to sit next to Kitsuki. Okay. okay. Tell me, Kitsuki. Kitsuki. Been... Kisu- she correct you in Kisuku. Yes, yes. Kisumu. What brings you to Perkins, then? <laughs> Escaping gladiator uh, arena titles. Hmm. Well, I expect... I guess that explains where a fox boy such as yourself learns to fight. I thought they weren't much of a breed of fighters. She, she is getting very irritated. She will flat out say, I am a woman. <laughs> I sort of squint at her. Oh! And how long has this been going on, then? <laughs> Were you planning on telling anyone? <laughs> I believe you are the only one stupid enough to not notice. Well, you, you, you know... Foxes all look the same to elves. And elves all look the same to foxes. And dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sieg. Hmm. Um, one of the merchants in here kind of sits down next to you with a cup of ale. Says, uh, hey, wait, how you doing? How's your night finding you? Oh, pretty good. Had a rough few days, though. Ah, 
You and I too. You and I both. Uh, traveling uh, east or west? Um. Well, we're actually settling here in Berkhamstead. Oh God, it's a nice place. I'd like to think so. That's where I'm from. Oh, good. Well, I'm uh, I'm heading out to uh, Keldrovac in the morning. Um, I'm trying to get rid of some of my loss, cut some of my losses here. I uh, made a bit of a gamble, and I just want to get it off my uh, thing. So, uh, and he's gonna pull out a ragged bag. And he says, "You know what this is? It looks like a bag to me. Nothing special about it." That is where you're wrong. This is actually a bag of holding. Oh, really? Ah, but there's a problem. And mm -hmm. that is my issue. See, I don't come across a lot of wizards, so I can't get it unlocked. Um, it's locked with some type of arcane spell shit. Tell you what. Mm -hmm. I will sell you this bag for an entire five gold. And uh, just take it off my freaking hands. I'm... Deal. Oh, is it, you're not going to board it? No, five gold is fine. It's, I mean, it's a fucking bag of holding. Well, you can't get it and, open. But, hell, shit, I'll take the gold. Am I near <laughs> him? What's that? Yeah, you're near him. Am I? Yeah. No. Oh. Sense so motive is wisdom. Okay. Well, yeah. He seems absolutely honest, and he's got this problem. He has this bag, and, uh, it's locked, and he doesn't know any wizards to unlock it. Then I say nothing and do nothing. Okay. He has yourself right. a bag. He gladly takes his five gold. Well, pleasure doing business with you. I uh, right. actually expected you to barter a little bit, but okay. <laughs> what can I say? It's a bag of holding. Well, it's a locked bag of holding. Good luck getting it open. I'll do my best. Oh, a uh, note about bags of holding. If you try to cut it open, they basically explode and all the contents goes away. And I don't know if there's anything in it or not. Okay. Whole thing was a fucking gamble. Have a good night. Yep. Um, anybody else doing anything? So I'm still moving boxes. Okay. Um, so you sleep for your night. Um, hmm. Are you sharing a bed, sleeping on floor, or having uh, Azula sleep on floor? It doesn't matter. Probably not. Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. I heard a bunch of voices. Okay. It depends on what is your little one. She can sleep with me. It really doesn't matter to her. Though she would prefer being in a bed because she's been on the ground for quite a while. Okay, she can she sleep on the bed. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm getting two people. Are the girls fighting over Azula? <laughs> <laughs> Unintentionally. She can. I mean, how big's the bed? It's. Uh, she can sleep with me. Yeah, it's not necessarily a two-person bed, but it's not super crowded. Okay. She can sleep with me. All right. Uh, she'll do that. Um, a, she sleeps naked, and B, she's covered in scales. Kind of like Sieg, only not quite as bad. Covering the back. Why, why, why does she have to sleep naked? Can I put a blanket over her? You can do that. Okay. She I'm like, keeping my armor on too. She very uh, okay. She um, you know, takes off her clothing and presses them down nicely, and seems to spend a lot of time like cleaning them up a bit. But she doesn't seem to be at all embarrassed or anything like that, and. What not just kind of goes about her business and crawls in the bed and almost instantly falls asleep. Okay. That would have really been awkward. 
Is she also? <laughs> okay. Morning. We all like morning. I like morning. Yes. Morning's good. So. I'm a morning person. Are you? Um, I have a good feeling about this day, guys. You jinxed That's it. because they're stupid. What could possibly go wrong today? <laughs> I'll charge anyone and let anyone go. Oh, God. Okay. Um, your stones can be punished. Your, your steel be can become rusted. Your beard can become messy. <gasps> or worse, you can get it chopped off. I do love this. Oh, dear. So, um, you guys wake up in the morning. Um, a mm-hmm. naked, um, scaly Fire Isles lady will, close in hand, walk down to the breakfast room, um, order breakfast, and get dressed down there. Um, not quite acclimated to uh, your country's customs yet. Dinner is, or breakfast is, um, it's kind of meager. It's just like a millet dish. And very similar to the previous day, a guard comes in. Followed by another guard, and they kind of like file into this room. And um, they point at Sieg. This is the freak. There. What? 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 Um, guards are coming to get you. Who's with him? I am. Great. Says Drew. <laughs> Why can't we have him? Um, because that doesn't work for plot. Oh, fuck. These are just what I'm using for the icons. They're just basic guards. Okay. All right. Um, the dwarf, the freak, the remnant cleric, um, where's that elf? And uh, the, the fox thing? Okay, you guys, you're coming in with us. I want you to disarm. Sig realizes there's no possible way he could fight anything, let alone six guards, and immediately disarms. What the rest of you? I think I'm about to start with that. Oh. Why, why don't we... Um, guards break into here. They basically state all of you by description, not names, and um, demand that you disarm and come with them quietly. Why? No. Yeah, no. You are oh, under uh, arrest for the assassination of Magistrate Simon. Um, Azula is going to be like, wait, what? And you're going to see every guard's head just snap towards her. Oh, God. And she's like, Simon's dead? Um, one of them's like, you fire aisles? Just throw down your weapons and come with us quietly. Wait, what about Yolda? I want to see Yolda! Um, so a couple guards are going to go, uh, take down Azula. Because she starts freaking out. They're not, like, coming completely armed. Um, Just, like, relax. Come quietly. Are you guys going quietly or not? No. I step in front of... Well... Rolling initiative? I guess so. If you're not coming quietly. Wait, what's everyone else going to do? 
Kisuke doesn't understand what's going on, but she doesn't like the pressure she's feeling right now. She's going to get defensive. That means offensive. Are we allowed to do anything right now before initiative, or...? I am I have disarmed. I am not participating in this fight. What's your class again? Me? Thief. Mm-hmm. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> well, thief and coward. Bro. All right. I'm just going to roll down and ask for initiatives. Kisiku? Um... So remember when I said roll initiative, we took initiatives, and I told you when we finished initiative, remind me to start the recording. Oh, no. No! Oh, my God. So, brief description of what happened. Um, Jimmy is like, hey, we should talk about this with a great diplomacy check. And they're like, okay, where the hell were you? And we're like, we're all here last night. And they start going through people's stuff. And they get through everybody except for um, the dwarf and Sieg. And when they get to Sieg, they find a pistol and a bag of holding, which is not arcanely locked, and happens to have the um, the giant magma forged steel axe of a supposedly assassinated man who is the magistrate of this city. Um, son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, that got in there. Um, Sig turned tail, bolted through these people, making a good enough acrobatics check, um, climbed up a wall, started jumping across buildings before he failed an acrobatics to check, and we'll get back to that later. Um, all the guards went chasing him except for one, who was slowly surrounded by the rest of the party, and is backed into a corner and now being tied up for fear of uh, being killed. I'm so pissed that I did not have that recording. Anyway, um, you guys chase after the guards chasing after the Sieg. Man, she wants to eat breakfast. You can grab a bun on your way out. Um, so that's one less person. <laughs> so, um, I guess we'd have to do a skills challenge. What is the goal of this? Sieg, where are you going? Um, run, I was running blindly. Okay. Just trying to escape. So you're just trying to escape. Um, let's do a skills challenge and see will be a marker. No, we gotta, um, we're going to do a skills challenge. We all have your initiatives already. So let's just, um, start this off. Audrey, um, you and your group is chasing down the guards who are trying to chase down Sieg. Um, Sieg's keeping a pretty good distance ahead of them, but they've got a pretty good idea of how he's moving through this city. Um, I guess the goal is to escape with Sieg's life. What do you want to try doing? Um, the head guard, is he within 60 feet from me? Sure. Okay. I don't think this will help, but I really want to do it because I wanted to do it to the guy that we tied up. But um, Can I use command? Sure. Um, when using spells, I um, would technically do Arcana checks or for using the skill, but I let um, religious people to use religion. So whatever's higher. Um, um, it's the same. Arcana and religion is the same for me. Okay. Whatever is your highest one you can use. Okay. So I roll a d20 plus that? Yep. No. And you were using command, right? Yeah. What did command do? I say a one word, and they have to do it if I succeeded the roll. Okay. Um, so that is a failure, 
And you okay. give him some type of command, probably like stop or halt or something, right? I wanted to say defecate, but okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he throws his arm in the air and yells, No! <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I think after Audrey, it will be... Uh, get all these people in my way. Um, Kisuku. How close do you think the nearest guard is? Um, how close do you want him to be? Close enough I can do a stealth takedown. Okay. Yes. What skill are you using? Stealth. All right. Roll it. 17. Congratulations. You take down a guard. And another one bites the dust. Um, Jimmy. So, uh, Sieg is running like, uh, like a guy being chased by a bunch of guards. You guys are running after them. You're not entirely sure what Audrey just did, but, uh, the fox girl just, um, ran up behind a guy and basically ninja'd him. All right, I'm going to attempt to increase foot traffic density by means of piccolo performance. In order to impede impede the guards? Yes. All right. That's a success. So you're performing to draw people out, right? Yes. All right. So, like, people start getting... Um, coming out of their buildings and entering into the streets, making it more difficult to move through this area. Sieg! Yes! There's a bunch of angry guards behind you. They seem to think that you killed the magistrate. Um, so I... Well... Okay, so there's two choices. Keep running or surrender. Uh... (laughs) I'm going to try to keep running and hide. <laughs> Maybe sleep in a clock tower or something. So what skill are you using? Um, first of all, where what surface am I on? Where am I? Um, you're running down a packed street. People are just coming out of everywhere. Okay. Um, I am going to do another attempt to get on top of a building. Climb, then. Um, okay. 19. Congratulations. You free run up a wall, grab a hold of the uh, edge, and pull yourself up. That is a success. Throog! I'm assuming you're starting to fall behind a little bit. Little dwarf legs and all. Yep. Um... I suppose the uh, go with the uh, intimidate again. But okay. I'm going to just run at the guards as fast as I can. Give myself, give you know, like the, the craziest face and you holler I can. Be like la, 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 crazy Roll dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's plus three. Okay. Oh, I'm afraid when you run after these door, or I run after these guards. They take one look at you and go, ah! <laughs> and they uh, they fall over, terrified of what the hell is just running through them. Probably shield the bear, you know, angry dwarf coming at you, Audrey. Yeah. Um, Sieg's up on the roof, guards are climbing up on the thing, there's more guards coming out, and there seems to be like <sighs> alarms and shit going off at this point. People are I... seriously confused. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Can I not do anything? I can let you pass. Okay. Kisuku? Pass. Um... And 
So there are guards climbing up the side of the building, right? Yep, they're trying to get up after him. Can't you make acrobatics and tackle one off the side of the wall? Yes, ma'am. Please work. 23. You can not only acrobatics one off, you can acrobatics two off. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, that probably looks pretty cool. Jimmy. All right. How many, how, how many jobs, are, how many gods are there in the roof right now? Uh, there's probably about three guys on the roof. They're having a hard time keeping up with Sig because they're obviously not made for like parkour. All right. I'm going to try and do a, I'm going to try and do a bardic performance of fascinate on the front guy. So just long enough so that he looks over and the guy running behind him rams into him. Brilliant. Roll it. That is perfect. You uh, successfully do that. The guy just, like, stops and looks back only to have the train of another guard with armor run him down. And they both land flat on top of the roof, which are rather flat, kind of sloping a little bit slightly, but there's not a lot of, uh, not a big pitch in this area. Sieg, super great news. The guards that were chasing you from behind are um, basically gone. But those guys over there look pretty serious, and they have bows. Uh, That's not good news. Oh, that that was the bad news. I forgot to say you got bad news, too. Is there a tall building I can hide in? You want a stealth? Yes. Do it. Stealth just happens to be one of my skills. Same. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh. This building's not very nice. That is a success. Uh, You can duck behind a wall and have people running out past you. And, uh, you're pretty sure that right now you're safe, but uh, where are you going? Trying to find a building, an abandoned building to hide in. Okay. Well, you found that. I mean, are you going to try to get out of the city or what the hell? I think uh, I don't. I think Sieg would want to try to get to his parents. Oh, sounds great. Hey, Drug. Or, sorry, not Drug. Drew. Yes. Well, um, I'm going to say that you all, you guys all meet up in this abandoned building. Mm-hmm. Sieg apparently wants to get to his parents, but there's guards everywhere. What are you guys doing? Intimidating? You want to just uh, start sneaking your way past and intimidating the guards to like fall over when uh, it's convenient? Pretty much. That's do it. all I can really do. Okay. Uh, here goes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you run up to another guard, be like, Wah! and they're like, they're over here. <laughs> Oops. That was a failure. Audrey, back to you. Mm-hmm. I'm so lost. I don't really know what's going on. What, what happened to all those other guards? And well, you knocked out quite a few of them, and now there's uh, they're just spread out over the place looking for you guys. You just just have one go. Hey, they're over here. What are what are your good skills? Nothing. Um, skill wise, honestly, just heal and sense motive. Oh. Uh, well, you can use sense motive to uh, figure out the troop movements or guard movements. Okay. And direct people where to go from there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, pretty simple. I mean, they're moving in a specific pattern. And obviously, if you go that way, the, um, oh, shit, that was wrong. There's a bunch of people over there. So, who's next? Kisuku? 
Yeah. Uh, you round the corner. There's two guards. They uh, they raise their weapons and go to attack you. I very intimidated them to like just leave me alone. Yeah. One baby, twelve. <laughs> and now you guys just start failing. Um, they are yeah. not. A, they are not intimidated by the pretty fox girl. <laughs> I'm insulted. And uh, you are in combat with these guys, basically. Jimmy. I, I can take them. Jimmy. Well, seeing as how splendidly the last two intimidate checks have went. Intimidate I'm going to give him the old fortissimo combo. I'm going to cast light on my sword. Sing the short song of Hullabaloo! Hullabaloo? And then grow into a one foot taller, highly muscular elf using disguise self. Okay. Where is it? Oh, I... Here it is. Um, so that's intimidate? Yes, that, that would be intimidate. Okay. Um, you do that, they look at you, go, Wah! and then um, Kisuku just like cuts them down. For the record, okay. I like how we started feeling the second we met up with Zine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Sieg, you managed to get to your parents' house. Apparently, the place has been uh, ransacked. Um, seeing this, uh, I can only imagine Sieg doing one thing, and that's breaking down. Um, is there a role for breaking down? Um, will save. Stealth cry? Yeah. <laughs> I, would, Stealth. I would say a will save. <laughs> will save. I'll give you a will save. Do the will save. Alright. Because his entire mission in life is to save his parents. Okay, thank God. So, he didn't break down or he did? He did a roll save, otherwise he would have broke down. Oh god. Yeah, that is a success. Um, you're you're about ready to just like give up as you hear people coming out towards you, but uh, you do your one last hoorah type thing, and you go, "Hey, Drew, there's people coming. What are you gonna do to get these people out of here?" Uh, are there any woods close by? Oh, this is kind is of a slummy use... area, so yeah, it's probably out that way, um, south of the city. Okay, well, I guess because uh, I was thinking about using survival to find the best place to hide in the woods. I'll give you that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Come on. Curses. Okay. Uh. So, you're not very familiar with this area. Um, and you're like, oh, obviously we should go this way because that's out of the way and whatnot. Um, you don't really find yourself in the woods that you were hoping for. Instead, you're uh, kind of in a park. <laughs> <laughs> it looked right, but um, and there's nobody rushing around. But basically, the city has wrapped around this area for some reason. And uh, looking around, this is more like the Elven District, obviously. Oh, so God. there's apparently less. Uh, there's apparently no guards here. But you're still technically in the city, and um, that is a failure. So you guys failed to escape the city. Good luck. So. How many skills have even passed? Um, you did nine of the ten. Oh, come on. I know. And you don't get XP for failing. 
Yeah. We got get, so close. You only get XP for succeeding. So, um, you guys are in a patch of woodland area um, that is apparently like the Elven District. You guys are still in the city, but nobody's immediately chasing you at the moment. This is good. I'll have to go and find uh, Don Quixote. Don Quixote? Yes, he's my donkey. Oh. <laughs> so, right. um, yeah, so I don't know what to do because I was going to see Simon. Wait, who sold you a bag? Who, me? Yes, you. I sold, uh, I mean, I got the bag from a, a, mer- a merchant. I didn't really, I don't remember his facial features. Well, you're a dumbass. <laughs> Wait a minute. I paid attention to that guy because I didn't trust him. Uh-huh. What do I call to recall? Um, you recall that he looked like a merchant. He had um, fairly st- Standard merchant equipment, just like the the trousers and the shirts and whatnot. Um, can nice I, hat. What's that? Can I do retroactive perception to see what I noticed about him? Sure. You don't. Well, would you wouldn't you need photographic memory for that? Uh, I'll give you the the retroactive perception before I completely describe him. Yeah, I mean, he was fairly common merchant type person. Um, a hat that is honestly it's like the most generic freaking thing you can get um, either A he's a pretty common merchant or B his whole gig was to look like a really common merchant he have a beard um, no he did not have a beard uh, we definitely can't trust him Mm-hmm. Any anybody else's input? Because you guys know anything the bag of food. Uh, I don't think I do anything other than sit quietly, upset that my parents are missing. Who sits quietly eating her bun? Okay. Um, so the bag of holding was taken by one of those people that, you know, pulled out the axe. Damn it. Um, I think that we need to check on Yolda. Okay. I, I don't understand what's going on. Am I a fugitive of my own country? I think you are. <laughs> Well, I think technically this is a different country. We own this country. This is Magister problem. Uh, Fire Isles would be hunting down those who uh, committed yes, such Yes, but uh, isn't it more like a personal union or a tributary than a direct ownership? No, I, th- I think we own your asses. No one owns the dwarves, but the dwarves. Actually, that is pretty true. And thank you for the nice cigarette that your people have built for us. It is very loved. I don't. Th- so she's like, I don't think the you guys own foxes either. I'm pretty sure that slaves and gladiator readers count as being owned. Yeah, not by them. <laughs> So, how uh, do we leave city? We, we should we should go we should go straight to Kaldrovak. Wait, we we can't we can't leave yet. We're not we leave need yet. to find my we need to find my parents. We should find Yolda. I 
I, are there any tracks right now? She can't speak a coherent sentence right now. He is absolutely devastated. Okay. Are there any tracks outside this building? Um, well, you're like in the woods type oh. thing. There's an elf over there staring at you, kind of like that that stare that Jimmy gives you sometimes. <laughs> the racist stare. <laughs> what? I'm not racist. I'm just racially ignorant. So racist. Don't sugarcoat it. It's more like I have no idea what I'm talking about. So ignorant. Okay, I pick Sieg up from the ground and uh, give him a punch and say, it's okay. We'll get them back. I, I, hope, I, I hope you're right. Anybody have a course of action? Right Is that we could try and sneak our way around. So you're going to wait till nightfall and sneak where? Go sneaky deaky like. <laughs> yeah. I don't well, know where. That's as far as she got with that train of thought. Who wanted your parents? At all. That's a good question. Hmm. So they didn't have any enemies that you knew of? I don't think so. They're just regular people. Maybe they took them to try to get a rise out of me. Do they know you? My parents? No, no, the people trying to get a rise out of you. Do you have any know. enemies yourself? Or rivals? I, 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 when I became a, a thief to try to provide money and food for my family, I may have made a few unintentional enemies, but I never met any of them face to face. We could wait till night and uh, see if we can find anything in the house when there's no guards about. All right. That's good thinking. Better come in from a door. Yeah. Sneak attempts to smile and hold and holds out a hand. Uh, through grabs his hand and gives him a good punch. <laughs> so, anybody else doing anything on, before dark? No? Um, no? Okay, fast forward to dark. It's darkness. Neek time. You stealth your way into uh, into the slums. So, roll me a, uh, a stealth checks. And don't botch. Um, can I not roll? Oh, sweet mother of God! Thirteen. I'm just bit. I'm just. I'm just fishing for is botches. Is this for everyone? Yep, everyone who's going with them. Okay. Sorry. How do you have minus four to stealth? Um, Dex. Yep, minus four decks. Well, and the armor. Oh, right, yeah. Oof. <laughs> well, I didn't botch. Well, that's what's important. Oh, that's right. Plus decks. Yeah. Eight. Plus your negative six. Great. Well, that was for armor and shield, so. Yeah. So. I think um, I'm doing a pretty good job. Yeah, you uh, you slowly cling your way to the slums, <laughs> being quiet, not to be too clingy. Um, 
yeah, you get to a Sieg's house. It's a it's a pretty small place, and uh, the place has been ransacked. And uh, Sieg, your mother is there trying to pick up the damn pieces. Mother, Sieg, the hell You're happened? Alive. <laughs> I everything went to hell, mother. We've I was sold a bag last night. Um, it's... Oh, P.S. She's wrapping her arms around you and crying. Well, that was easy. (laughs) Sieg just trails off and starts crying in her arms, too. There's a lot of crying going on. Yes, there is. Where where were you when we when we were here earlier? They took us to the keep to question. When did they release you? And where's father? Uh, they kept them for more questioning. You, your father and your brother. Okay. Uh, they. Uh, I've been framed for the murder of the magistrate. So I've gathered. What? Uh, you didn't do it, did you? No. Okay. Oh, dear. This is... This is awful. I... I just... What can we do? Well, she's bawling. So I guess you can attempt to stop her from bawling. Okay. Um, course of action. Uh, Say again? Course of action. What are you guys doing? Um, well, I'm definitely staying with my mother. Okay. Um, she says that you should probably not stay here because they're going to come back. Where should we hide? She doesn't know. Um, obviously in plain sight. Does anyone have a good idea of where we can stay? No, not at all. Is it a dwarven district? Uh, can the dwarf dig a really big hole? Can you diggy, <laughs> diggy hole? Hey, seeing big <laughs> as uh, this is your hometown, you want to roll me a knowledge, no, uh, a knowledge local or intelligence? If you don't have local. Uh, whichever's higher. I ha- I think I have knowledge local. I do not. So intelligence is plus one. Um, holy shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Okay. Good job. Um, there is a Dwarven district here, actually. And um, they're off to the east. Um, it is kind of an underground type thing. They got themselves a pretty good settlement thing. And they're also pretty, like the elves, they're kind of left to their own accords by the guards. So, seems like a decent place. All right. They're kind of your, um, if your goal is good, we don't give a shit. Perfect. So we go there. Okay. You, uh, lightly cling your way to the dwarven area. (laughs) There's a bunch of dwarves here. Um, everything's kind of squat. The door frames are a little, uh, lower, so some of you might have to duck. And, um, you can enter into a subterranean part of the city. We do so. What are you looking for, an inn? Yes. Okay. You find yourself a dwarven inn. Their specialty is dwarven ale and hard beds. Is is this one called the dwarfen? dwarfen? Oh. Is it dwarfen? No, it, it's actually uh, the stout inn. But it's next to the dwarfen brewery. <laughs> I asked the innkeeper if they need any help moving 
Heavy objects. He says, no, we don't need any help moving heavy objects. You gotta go surface size and ask people for that. Oh, right. Yep. He's here, we'll, put, we'll, we'll be conservative and only spend two gold on food today. Can, can I ask if anyone needs any mending? Um, you can. Says, oh, but if right. you can mend, I've got some uh, things that uh, you could you could do. I was going to take them to the smithery, but uh, yeah. They'll give you a handful of broken tools and shit. Okay. She's just going to plop down three gold, Are you... two for food, one for lodging. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> are you trying to get free lodging or make money with this uh, mending thing? I'm trying to make money. All right, roll me in Arcanos. Arcanos, okay. Sorry, I have so many screens. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, the actual thing. Um. Yeah, I'll say you make you make an entire uh, seventeen silver. We'll just go with that for now, till I actually okay. read the rules on that. Usually okay. it's a per day basis, but he's got a lot of shit needs mending. Any other tidbits before you guys sleeps? Do they have the free lodging? <laughs> uh, not exactly, no. Maybe. Sorry, how much is the night? It's a gold for a room. Okay. Everybody needs a room. Kizuku still has, like, a room. Still has so much freaking money from the money she can spend on equipment. All right. Uh, your your Fire Isles chick will be like, I kind of need a room, and I am out of money for food, too, actually. It's a good thing she bought a lot. She can share. Thank you. I'm very, con- I'm very concerned about Yolda. How, okay, how are we going to get to Yolda uh, in the morning? I don't know. I know where the house is, but... No, I, I guess we cannot be seen. I cannot be seen. This is not good. Wait a minute. This entire time, Kisuke can just like, hide her ears and tail. And then sneak around. And it suddenly hits you that you can completely change your appearance. <laughs> I told you she's not smart. Uh, but, um, uh, I, I can have a lad if you write me a note to give her and tell me where she lives. Well, okay. Um, she'll ask somebody for a piece of paper because she ain't got that. Uh, and uh, writes you a note for Yolda. It's in Draconic. Do you speak Draconic? I do. I do. Okay. Well, I mean, if you're going to read her note, it's in Draconic. Yes, you just not know Draconic. Okay. And she gives you directions in common. It's on the complete opposite side of the river. Okay. Going tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Uh, okay, fine, tonight. 
Okay. Um, what's a good check for this? Perception, diplomacy, sense, motive, something along those lines. Whatever's higher. Repeat that again. Diplomacy, sense, motive, or perception. I just sense motive. Um, this is for those going out to uh, oh, just go kidding. deliver this note. <laughs> So you're just going to like take the note and like sneak her way by. Yes, but um, I want you to roll me one of those things, whatever's higher. Yeah, I rolled the plumber's name. Okay. Um, just getting, okay. Okay, you don't pick up anything. You get to this uh, this place, right? And it's been condemned. For the assassination, and this is written in big letters in this note, um, House is condemned and under investigation for the assassination of Magistrate Simon Verkloff, um, Yolda Verkloff, and a handmaiden by the name of, uh, let's just go with Jill. So they're all dead. Well, that's what that note says. Oh, she's going back. Okay. You return back to your inn in the, the wee hours of the morning. Is she asleep? Yeah. She's asleep, naked, on a very hard bed. Well, she gently wake her up. Okay. Problem? Uh, there was a sign, and it said Yolda. What? It said Simone, Yolda, and Jill were dead. Did Yolda? Uh oh. She starts bawling. Uh, attempts to soothe her by hugs? There you go. <laughs> Soft, fluffy fox hugs? <laughs> it helps. Anybody doing anything else? Drew is snoring. Okay. Um, so here's the issue. We're kind of uh, lack of uh, what the hell's going on. I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. Um, this is where we would wrap up. So um, I'm going to cut the actual show here right now. Um, I'm going to just shit XP. Divided by five. Because there's five of you. Everybody gets 200 XP. Yay. Sorry, I, um, one question. Um, yes. I um, first of all, my mic was muted. I had asked a couple of questions. I was like, "Why are people ignoring me?" Because <laughs> uh, we hate. Uh, so I just asked. Um, so Yolda was killed too. Just to be clear, Yolda um, was killed too. Yes. Okay. And what is a Yolda? I think I was away for that. Okay. So, um, Sig knows. He can tell you it's a ten-year-old girl. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Filled with that anger. One. So that was. Uh, does Sig yeah. wanna like give the whole story on Yolda, or just keep it at that? I can explain. So uh, wait, just just to be clear, uh, we're talking about um, her relationship to the magister, right? Yeah. Okay. So, guys, um, Yolda was, um, some people called her uh, the Magister's, I don't know what you would call it, child wife. Oh. It's, we don't yeah. know, us as, you know, people in the slums, that's what we've heard. But essentially, what we do know is that this, well, we, we heard that this child has lived with the Magister, and they have some sort of relationship. Okay. That's disturbing. Can Azula yes. shed any more light? Oh. Like if she knows about the 
Yeah, if you get her to stop crying, she can give you information on Yolda. Um, so, many human cultures are very strange. Simon was working on... Uh, why is everything going bloop, 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 bloop? The world running chat. Okay. Um, Did you guys just talk in Discord? Well, that still goes bloop, bloop, bloop in my head. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> um... So Yolda can tell you, I don't know all your um, human cultures are very strange in some places. Uh, Seaman was working in um, ever-changing isles on a larger island, and uh, due to some weird situation, he ended up married to this little eight-year-old child. Um, he's kind of, he's kind well, eight when they got married. Okay. It's kind of weird tradition of some weird peoples, and uh, he basically take care of her like a uh, daughter. So, marriage in your tongues, yes, technically, but not in perhaps the way you think. So, basically, she was adopted. What is Adopted. Uh, taking in a child that doesn't have a family. Yeah, that sounds uh, decently accurate. I think she's actually child of some chief. Okay. Yeah, weird human traditions. I don't understand. She's not. Piece of you is not very smart. The way you describe adopted makes her think, would be adopted? No, not sleep. <laughs> and now she's sad. <laughs> So, any other questions or thoughts before I think we're good. We close down. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. Everybody say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, internet. Good night.